Introducing App Maker, no code app builder. Do you want to convert your Shopify fashion store into an app? With the help of App Maker, you will be able to make your Shopify store into an app that will help you to reach more customers. In this video, I will show you how you convert your fashion store in Shopify to an app through App Maker. So let's get started. First, you need to install the App Maker plugin to your Shopify store. To get the plugin, click the link in the description, and in here click on Add App. And now on this page scroll down and click Add Sales Channel. As you can see App Maker dashboard opened up. This will be the home page with all the banners and grids. In here you can all your product from your Shopify store. This is my fashion store, and I can add all these products to my app. You can see all these banners, grids, and sliders. which we can add from this block section. I will show you how you can add this block here. First, I will remove all these blocks by selecting it. You can remove or duplicate these blocks by clicking on the three dots. First, I will remove this block. I will remove this one also. So to add banners on your left hand side, you can see banners, grids, slider, HTML text, and all that. I will grab this banner and drop it here. Now you can see a banner block has appeared. In here you can see upload, media library, insert from URL. Click on upload and upload your banner. I will add a banner image here. Now you can see the banner has been added. To move this banner, you can see an arrow key in here. If you click upward, it goes up, and if you click downward, it goes down. So I will move this to the top. If you click on it, you can see many options on the right-hand side. In here, you can add page title. And below that, you can add action. So click on the drop-down menu and set the desired action for the banner. So if someone clicks on this banner, it will redirect them to that specific page which you set as an action. You can show image title also by enabling this option. You can remove or replace this image here. Below that we can add a grid. As you can see, grid has appeared. If you click on this plus icon, you can add an extra grid here. Here, I will add some grid icons. Click on upload and then upload a grid image. I went ahead and added some more grid icons. You can add the desired action by clicking on the grid. And on the right hand side, you can add columns. We can increase the number of columns to add all subcategories. Below that, some options will be available which you can play around with. Below that, I will add a slider. Grab this and add it here. And if you click on this plus icon, you can add sliders. I will add some sliders here. Now I will add some slider images here. You can also add action in here according to the slider. I have made a few more additions to my home page. Now click Save Page. Next, I will create an in app page. To create an in app page, Click on this new page, and you can add a new in-app page here. You use all these blocks in here too. First, let's add a page title here. I will add men in here. Now I will add a banner here. Below that, I will add one more banner. Next, I will add some products collections to her. On the block section, select product by collection. Drag and drop it down here. Now I will add collections here. 
So whatever changes you made in your Shopify store will reflect on your App Maker dashboard. Just remember to add action to the blocks. Below that we can add a slider. I will add images for the slider. I have made a few more additions to my new page. Click on Save Pages. Now on the left-hand side of the dashboard, you can see the app menu. If you click on the app menu, you can see all the menu items here. First, I will delete all these menus. I will show how you can add this menu item by clicking the Add Menu Item button. On the right-hand side, you see Menu Title and Menu Type. So I will add Home as a title. And on the Menu Type, you can select Title or Menu Item. The title will be non-actionable type and menu items will be actionable. So if click on the menu item, you can choose an action from the dropdown. I will add home. Below that you can see the menu icon. Click on open library. Let's add an icon for the home menu. After selecting the icon, click on Add. Now you can see your home menu has been added. Now I will add a non-actionable title. Click on Add Main Menu. Add a title in here. Now select Menu Type as Title Only. Then click on Add. I added some more menu items here. And now let's click on Save. Now let's go to the Update App section. Click on the Update App. First, it will ask you for the app icon. On the right side, you get a preview of your app icon on both Android and iOS mobiles. Click on the Upload icon and select the app icon. Click on Next. Here I will ask you to upload the launch screen icon. Upload the launch screen icon, and then click on Next. Here you can customize your app style. After customizing, click on Next. On this page, you can add the drawer header logo, push notification logo, and login logo. Let's add the logo here. After adding, click on Next. In here, you can add this option to your app setting by enabling it. Now let's go to the language settings. Here you can add or delete this language. In the search bar, you can search for your preferred language. If you want to remove your language, click on the Delete This Language button on the top right corner. Now let's click on Save Changes and then click on the Build app. Once you click on the Build app, the page gets refreshed and the app will start to build. It will take around five min to get ready. Now your app is ready. Click on the preview to download the app file for the Android version. I have downloaded the app file from the dashboard and installed it on my Android device. This is the icon of the mobile app we have created. Let's click on it and see our app. This will be my homepage as you can see all images are in the right place. Click on the menu and see how it looks. Let's click on this icon here to see my products. As you can see all products are here. Now click the product and let's see what option pops up. You can see add to cart button and buy button here. You can choose the number of products needed. Just click add or minus. We have a wishlist tab. Customers can add products to the wishlist. Also, you have the option to add coupons. And that is how you make your Shopify fashion store into an app through AppMaker. To know more, check out our website, www.appmaker.xyz.